What are those? Jay Hall, and we're going to do a music review on an album that's been stirring up a little controversy. And that's Earth Game Maryland album. Why the controversy? Mainly because there's been a lot of online talk on whether or not Earth Game is considered to be the new Outkast. Legendary group Outkast. So let's see. Number one, I love top down music. Number two, I hate when top down music comes out and the summer's over. I can't front. I love when songs come in with the chorus. Okay, FYI, this song is kind of Twilight Zone ish. You can definitely tell they were on some urban essence in the studio. Okay, so that was just a few tracks off Earth Game Maryland album. And of course, I heard the whole album. I just wanted to play a few tracks for you so you can get a feel of what I'm talking about. Okay, so off the bat, it's Earth Game the New Outcast. Let's think real hard for a minute. Hell no! Alright, first things first, stop comparing new groups to old groups. It's just simply lazy. Second thing is, Earth Game members Johnny Venus and Doc, they almost sound too much alike. Like throughout the whole Maryland album, they you can't tell who picks up the mic and who puts down the mic. Versus Outcast, Big Boy, and Andre, although they had great chemistry, they sounded completely different. I mean, Andre 3000 used to talk about Mars, Venus, belt buckles, and plants. While Big Boy was all about pimps, Cadillacs, and women. And somehow it was magical. Now granted, Earth Gang is making that alternative type of hip-hop that Outkast pioneered. But it doesn't make them Outkast. So stop it. If you like Maryland, just buy Maryland because you like Earth Gang. But don't buy them because of the second coming of what you think of a legendary group is. Let them pave their own way. You agree? Disagree? Drop your comment in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. Let me know what you think. For right now, I'm just going to vibe out to this Earth Game album.